Hey everyone, Hansel here. So today we're going to be taking a look at a video where someone claims that uh, the Scream fight in Marvel Spider-Man is a female ranting about how bad men are. Yeah, this is pretty. This is going to be a pretty weird video to make. So yeah, let's let's get into this abomination that I've had to look at. It's painful. It will give you brain rot your gray matter and your brain will just rot away so yeah let's get into this now we get to arguably the worst part of the entire game the scream boss battle mary jane gets infected with the symbiote and she turns into scream who actually is a symbiote from the comics and we get the most blatant transparent feminist rant i think i've ever heard in a video game i'm just gonna play some clips from the boss battle and you could judge for yourself Guns begging for validation from you from anyone validation if this is about your job it's about me yay it's not my job stupid house typical woman me 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 Okay, buddy, that last part, very unneeded. That makes you sound pretty sexist, in my opinion. So, I'm going to give you a rundown on how the symbiotes work in the Insomniac universe. So, they take what you want, like truly want, or your bottled up anger, and in that, that's the case of MJ. So, MJ. She has a lot of problems with Peter, and they're not talking them out. So that leads to, you know, resentment and bottled emotions. And in case you didn't know, bottling up your negative emotions is not good. Because eventually, that's going to blow up. And it's going to be pretty bad if, you know, you explode in anger, sadness, stuff like that. So, what the symbiote does is, when it bonded with MJ, it took that, dialed it up to 10, and then boom. Big emotional explosion full of anger, hate, and resentment. So that's why she's going on that rant. Remember your book? You said you want to help people! Nobody read it! Yeah, because it was shit. <laughs> I think most of this game was written by a woman. No, it didn't. Shut the fuck up, Peter. You're such a bad liar, really. Your book helped me, MJ. What a fucking simp. Okay, just because we have a female character ranting to a male character does not mean that part was the writer screaming about men and going, Grr, destroy all men, they suck, they're stinky, they're gross. It's, it's like, come on, dude. Like, can you, like, take off those glasses? It, that's very metaphorical. Okay, okay, here's a, here's a good example. Here, this will be pretty cringe. Okay. So, gla glasses, right? I look goofy. Just take off those glasses of your view on those types of things. Close them up. Put them on your desk. And stop being an idiot. And going, yep. A female character is ranting to a male character. Like, come on, dude. Grow up. You're an adult. You're supposed to be more mature than that. I got nothing more to say here that I didn't already say during the stream. This was painfully bad. Mary Jane is obviously the self-insert of the lead writer for this game, and this rant must be directed toward her ex-boyfriends or some shit, because this is some of the most out-of-touch, narcissistic bullshit I think I've heard in any piece of entertainment. It reads like a parody. And before anybody says that, oh, that's the point, because she's got a symbiote on her, so that's not really what she thinks. No, the symbiote is enhancing what she already felt. And that's why Peter is constantly fucking apologizing and acting like a bitch the entire time. Fuck you, Insomniac. It's unbelievable. I've got nothing. Like I said before in the video, just because a female writer is writing in a part where a female character rants does not mean that it's like her rant d directed at her ex-boyfriend going, Grr, you're such a bad man, grr. It's like, come on. <laughs> and also the other part where he's like, Peter's constantly apologizing to her. It's like, that's what a good person does. Like, they apologize on their mistakes. 
like, I don't know how people think like this. You apologize? You're a little bitch. Like, come on. And so, yeah, this take was really horrible. There was a lot of sexism in it. Well, it feels like he's pretty sexist. So, yeah, pretty unfortunate. Um, I don't think I got any gray matter left in uh, my head. I might, it might be all hollow now. So, that's uh, that's pretty scary, not gonna lie. After witnessing that, you might not have any gray matter left. I am sorry for bringing this horror down upon you. I'm very sorry, but if you do have any gray matter left in your brain, uh, have a good rest of your day, have a good rest of your night, or whatever time of the day you are in, or night, have a good rest of that time, and yeah, I'll see you all later.